Good evening, esteemed television watchers. We are here with the next issue of Nekjeva News Information Program. I am Feroz Anori. The 10th session of the Supreme Majlis of Nekjeva Autonomous Republic of the Sikhs Convocation was held. A sun service center was inaugurated in Nekjeva. First, let's have a glance of official news. On May 16th, the 10th session of Supreme Majors of Sixth Convocation of the Nekjivan Autonomous Republic was held. The agenda of the session includes the approval of the implementation of 2022 budget of the Nekjivan Autonomous Republic, the repeal of the laws of the Nekjivan Autonomous Republic on seed production and on the transplantation of human organs or tissues, changes in the law of the Nekjivan Autonomous Republic on the status of the deputy of the Supreme Majors of Nekjivan Autonomous Republic, issues of the election of the deputy chairman of the Supreme Majors of Nekjivan Autonomous Republic were raised, Anar Ibrahimov was elected to Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Majors of Nekjivanut in Mass Republic. The opening ceremony of Nekjivan Regional Ascent Service Center was held on May 19th. First, the monument of the national leader of our people, Heydar Aliyev, erected in the center of Nekjivan city was visited, and the flowers were placed in front of it. Padna Jafli, authorized representative of the President of Republic of Azerbaijan in Nekjivan Autonomous Republic, and Ulvi Mahdiyev, the Chairman of State Agency for Service to Citizens and Social Innovations under the President of Republic of Azerbaijan, took part in the opening ceremony. It was reported at the event that the State Agency for Service to Citizens and the Social Innovations under the President of Republic of Azerbaijan and its subordinate Asan Service Centers were established by the decree of the President of Republic of Azerbaijan dated July 13, 2012. Nekjivan Asan Service Center is the 26th center in the country. Asan Service Center is equipped with a video surveillance, imaging and video quad system, two elevators, fire extinguishing system, centralized ventilation, heating system, generator and UPS. In total, the center, which is surrounded by 465,000 citizens registered in Nekjivan Autonomous Republic, will operate without territorial restrictions. In total, more than 360 services will be provided by various state bodies as well as private companies and enterprises. The total number of employees is 228 and the number of volunteers is 45. As an cafe is planned here for citizens to relax and a parking space for 50 cars has been created. Organic products of Nekjivan were exhibited at international exhibitions. Employees of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Gang Diplomats visited Nekjivan last week. The representatives of United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund visited Nekjivan. Turkish citizens living in Nekjivan participated in the voting. Now we present other important news of the last week. Within the framework of the Foreign Policy Program for Young Diplomats, a delegation consisting of employees who were admitted to the diplomatic service last year, heads of the personal and organizational control departments of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and responsible employees of the Development and Diplomacy Institute of Ada University visited the Autonomous Republic of Nekjivan. The visit program started with a visit to the Monument of the Great Leader in Nekjivan. The guests arranged flowers in front of the Monument of the Genies and paid their respects. Then there was an introduction to Heydar Aliyev Museum. As part of the visit, the guests met with Fuad Najafli, the authorized representative of the President of Republic of Azerbaijan in Nekjivan Autonomous Republic. A meeting was held with members of the delegation at the office of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan in Nekjivan Autonomous Republic. In the second half of the day, a seminar was held at Nekjivan State University on Zengezer Corridor, construction of Nekjivan Railway and History of Cars Treaty with the participation of guests. The visit of the delegation of 50 people lasted for two days. The representative of UN Children's Fund in the Republic of Azerbaijan, Alex Hikens, and the chairman of State Statistic Committee, Tahir Budago, was the Nekjivan Autonomous Republic. The opening ceremony of the training on the multi-indicator cluster survey in May June 2023 was held as part of the visit. At the ceremony, the participants were informed about the purpose and importance of holding MICs in our country and the work done within the framework of MICs. It was noted that the training, which started on May 18th, will end on June 17th. 15 people were involved in the training. Later, Alex Hikens and other guests get acquainted with the conditions of the maternity center of the Autonomous Republic of Nekjivan and the city Paul clinic of Nekjivan.
The 16th Azerbaijan National Agricultural Exhibition, Caspian Agro, and the 28th Azerbaijan National Food Industry Exhibition, Interfood Azerbaijan, were held at the Baku Expo Center on May 17th, 19th. At the opening event of the exhibition, extensional information was given about the agricultural potential of Nikjivan. The organic Nikjivan brand was presented at the exhibition and natural products of Nikjivan were displayed. Rector of Nikjivan State University, Elbor Sisayev, paid a business trip to Austria. Rector participated in the opening ceremony of the post of the National Aid Dorhaydar Aliyev at the Embassy of Azerbaijan in Vienna. After meeting with the Ambassador of Shansadik Valley, the Rector expressed his gratitude for the sincere reception and the value of cooperation and presented a gift to the Ambassador. Within the framework of the visit, Rector Elbor Sisayev also participated in the concert of the Vienna Orchestra dedicated to the 100th anniversary of National Aid Dorhaydar Aliyev, organized by Azerbaijan Cultural Center at the Mozart Cancer Hall. Rector of Nekjava State University, El Bruce 7, and his delegation visited the most prestigious agricultural research center in Austria. The delegation of Nekjava State University visited the educational and research centers and open-air laboratories of the Austrian Federal Research Center, Rambar Genpenstein, one of the most advanced educational and research centers in Austria, and were informed about the activities of the center. At the end of the meeting, the rector of the University, El Bruce Saev, and the director of the center, Johann Gastreiner, talked about the issues of the Joint cooperation. Turkish citizens living in foreign countries voted for the second round of the presidential elections to be held on May 28. Turkish citizens living in Nekçivan also participated in the voting. At the General Consulate of the Republic of Turkey in Nekçivan, all conditions have been created for citizens of the broader countries to actively participate in the voting. On May 20, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the process was started at the polling station established in General Consulate. Council General of Turkey in Nekçivan Asif Kaya participated in the voting. It should be recalled that none of the presidential candidates received more than 50% of the votes in the elections held on May 13, so the second round of the voting will be held on May 28. The politician who wins between two candidates, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and opposition leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu will be president. The 75th anniversary of Hajjaga Gadirzadeh, a prominent representative of Azerbaijan Ethnograph Science, corresponding member of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, was celebrated in the Nekjivan section of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. The speakers expressed their opinions about the scientists' scientific activity and shared their memories. On the occasion of May 15th, in National Family Day, an event was held in Nekjivan on the topic Great Leader Haydar Aliyev, the guarantor of family policy of Azerbaijan. Those who participated in the event talked about the existence of positive dynamics in the field of the family development in our country, the further strengthening of the family institution, and the successful implementation of the self-employment program in autonomous republic. The composition prepared by the Sang and Dance Group of Nekjivan State Philharmonic and Young Silence of Nursery Schools No. 5 and 8 in Nekjivan City was met with applause. At the end, there was a viewing of the exhibition of handwork of the competition winners. Within the organization of Nekjivan City Executive Authority, a series of events called Brave Soldiers of the Victorious Commander are being held in order to introduce our mothers who died for the motherland and to instill in young people the glorious path of war they passed. The next event was dedicated to the mothers Senior Lieutenant Orhan Guluyev and Ensign Bagar Elkbaru, who studied at Nekjivan Garrison Secondary School. Family members of our mothers, veterans, pedagogical and students, staff of Nekjivan Garrison Secondary School, cadets of Federal Military High School, Military personnel and public representatives took part in the event held at the Detached Army Training Center. Humanitarian med collections are continued in the Tunmas Republic within the framework of the year of Eid Aliyev. The next med collection was organized last week in Bebek region and Badamla village of Shahbuz region. 82 residents of the Bebek and 7 residents of Badamla village took advantage of the medical campaigns and were involved in various examinations and treatments.
In accordance with the action plan of the Ministry of Ecology and Natural Resources of the Indian Ministry of Public Infrastructure and the Institute of Bioresources of Ministry of Science and Education of Azerbaijan, in order to increase the dominant plant species, planting of tree seedlings and shrub plants was carried out in the forest clearings and sparse areas of the specially protected nature areas. In Batabat area of Zangazur National Park, a total of 400 pine and oak saplings compatible with the terrain were planted in pre-prepared areas. The goal is to create green belts in the unusual lands of the Eton Mr. Public. At the end, we present cultural and sport news. The International Day of Museums was celebrated in Nakhchivan. The winners of the volleyball tournament were awarded. More details in our last news block. An exclusive concert program dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the great leader Heder Ali was organized in Nakhchivan by organization of the VR Family Public Union for the support of persons with disabilities, and the winners of the inclusive exhibition competition were awarded. An event was held in Nakhchivan on the occasion of the International Day of Museums. Speakers at the event organized in the open-air museum noted the currently one art gallery and the 29 museums of the various profiles are operating in the Autonomous Republic, regular enrichment of museum funds is in focus. Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic means volleyball tournament dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the birth of the national leader Heide Aliyev has ended. The winner of the tournament in which eight teams participated was the Nakhchivan team. Medal Cups and Diplomats were presented to the first three teams. Esteemed television watchers, that was all for today. Hoping to be together last Monday. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.